Welcome to Unfold Data Science. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. So I have observed a pattern guys. You know what? Many YouTubers, many people are creating videos on how somebody got a 2 crore package in USA or 1 crore package in UK or you know 1.5 crores package in Australia. What happens is they don't give you a lot of information around what are these numbers, what is the tax rates, how much you get in hand how much you pay for the rent and many other things right in this video i am going to compare indian data science market with uk data science market on three aspects okay as you know i don't like to talk a lot of numbers on this channel hence i will keep the information on the ground what is going on because i'm in the uk for last 10 to 11 months i'm going to give you information on what i have observed with respect to data science market in India and data science market in UK okay and then you are wise enough to take a call or you are you are wise enough to understand the various perspective of what I am talking here so I don't want young folks you know who are in college who are one year two year people to get misguided by big big numbers okay so let's try to understand few basic stuff first now one disclaimer as I said, I am here for just 10 months. I may be wrong on few things. I am happy to be corrected with more experienced people than me. I am happy to be challenged with my observation. I am happy to take all the feedback. Let's start guys. First of all, job market of data science in India versus in UK. Okay. Now, how to tell you that um, there is something called as a hot job market. Okay. What is the meaning of this hot job market in India? If you are working guys, uh, just look around. Okay. Nowadays it's work from home, but you might be talking to your friends. You might be talking to your managers and colleagues, right? Just look around and see how many people are changing job and at what frequency. Okay. I'm sure there will be one or two person in your team who is currently in notice period and who is changing his or her job. Okay. There are definitely many people in your friend circle who have changed job in last one to two years. Okay. Irrespective of experience level at your experience level at 10 years at 15 years, all these levels, right? What I'm coming here to say is in India, especially now the job market is hot. Okay. But the same is not here in the UK. I'm not saying people are not changing job. I'm not saying people are not getting opportunities, not like that. But the the frequency of job changing, the frequency of taking your salary to the next level, the frequency of getting new opportunities, the kind of the kind of response you will get when you put your profile on, you know, job search portals, right? The kind of response you will get when you say in the market that, hey, I'm looking for a job that response you will feel the difference okay so there it will be kind of very very hot here opportunities are there people are changing job but not that much frequently not that much regularly it's probably not in the culture people will shift their jobs okay and this is very very important at junior levels because you know when you are one year two year three year kind of guy four years five years kind of guy you want to you know use that frequency of changing jobs and switch your jobs and take the next move in your careers right that is on the how the overall market is not in data science in general i'm saying india job market is kind of hot especially now here yes hirings are happening recruitments are happening but it may not be very very hot like india now let's come to the most important aspect guys that is salary okay i will not talk specific numbers but let me tell you a few important things here okay in india it's very very common i'm not saying what is right and what is wrong and what should happen and what should not happen okay i'm just saying the the scenario that i have observed okay in india it is very common for you to see that somebody who is a three years experienced guy is making 20 lakhs per annum okay now it is and somebody who is at let's say 10 years experienced guy is also making 20 lakhs per annum what i'm saying is it is very much possible that somebody at five years experience level may 
cross the salary of somebody at 10 years experience level it is very much doable now is it right is it wrong i am not advocating any of these okay but that's doable in india that is happening all of us are seeing that but here there is a standard salary structure okay so if you fall in this category i mean this level of experience and this this kind of job role job description this is the bracket in which you will get your salary okay if you fall in this kind of uh, experience level this kind of job role this is what you should expect so these structures are very well maintained here okay in india after the startup culture after the work from home and all these things right all these things have shattered okay all these structures all these things have shattered and we have we are witnessing a whole new space of job search where anything and everything is happening and it's possible is it good is it bad let's not talk that but it's happening here uh, the structure is more uh, you can say strong okay and also you will be hearing some unrealistic numbers in india for example um, i will not be surprised if a five year guy tells me that some startup paid him 50 lakhs package the kind of environment we are in currently okay here in uk you will not hear that i mean i will be surprised if somebody tells me that you know they got a salary you know three times than than he was he or she was expecting or four times than he or she was expecting so that is one kind of structural difference or job market salary wise difference okay now the third thing is guys culture ethics and day-to-day uh, -day work right so there are few differences and here i will see i can sense things are better here in in uk okay uh, how i am saying that things are better now um, in india when you go and search for a job right almost 80 percent of the times you don't know when you get that job what you will be doing on the ground that's again my personal experience guys so hr will call you your interview will get scheduled all these things will happen and then you join a job and then um, you know you are you are assigned some work that you may like you may not like or many many possibilities are there so in advance you don't know what will be your actual job role probably high possibility when the mass recruitment is happening especially for service companies right here you will get a very good clear picture of what is that they are looking for in a candidate and what you will do end to end so since i told you hirings are little less so the the specifications of the job or the profiles they look for or the position they are looking for is very very specific okay so they will they will explain you in too much detail like what is your role what what we are looking for what will be your uh, you know a typical day looks like and it will it will actually fit in that when you join that organization it will actually fit in that okay so you are you will not be surprised and nobody is surprised okay so that is one good thing i feel here and culture wise lot of differences no need to go into much detail uh, people will you know people's hours will be typically skewed towards evening in india like they will be working little late that's the kind of culture i have observed here people will start early and close early and weekends are respected and you know um, after office hours are respected all these things are i feel it's it's pretty good okay and another thing when somebody is talking on on various channels this is for uh, all the young folks okay because if if you are experienced person you know what is the meaning of high rent and high kid ex kids schooling expenses and high uh, you know um, grocery expenses and all these things you can at least think in your mind but to young folks i want to say um scenario is not like if somebody is telling you two crore package or one crore package or one and a half crores package um it's not very straightforward okay so the amount of tax you pay in india and the amount of tax you pay in uk is very very different okay i am not talking about the benefits benefits that's again will be a very very long discussion but in hand salary that you get will be uh, probably not what you are thinking when you are hearing those big numbers okay so every time you you see some video some information on some youtube channel or some content saying uh, somebody got this big number somebody got this big number yes they get on the paper but what they get in hand is also important 
and then you have to keep in mind all these things that i told you the job market is not that hot not that hot means if you change your job you are not going to get very good hike like in india you get 30 percent 40 percent now it is there is no limit right second the work culture will be little different so i'm not again advocating anything but just seeing the the facts that i have observed and third is how the salary structures are different so unrealistic salaries you can get in india probably here uh, little difficult and it may be good in one way bad in one way i don't know and again there may be people who are st uh, staying in uk for very very long period of time they can correct me i'm happy to get corrected you can comment me and you know my knowledge also will increase from that but few of my friends are looking for job and they are searching and they are they are talking to recruiters some of them have got also and that is what my analysis okay from all these experiences and if you want me to create more videos around these topics for example how you can apply from india for sponsorship in uk or which universities are good for data science courses what is the fee structure what is the uh, fresher salary kind of thing what is the probability of fresher getting job um, how some experienced person can move here what is a good salary in uk what is a you know medium range salary in uk can your partner work here or cannot work here what are the rules for your partner working here many things now i am seeing around me okay if you want me to uh, if you want me to create videos on these uh, topics guys i can definitely gather some more information and create it for you okay so let me know guys if this video was informative for you and please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel because many of you have not subscribed yet i request you please subscribe it so that i get motivated see you all in the next video guys wherever you are stay safe and take care